What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now this video is all about what may be the most important step. One of at least as is with most How almost any, any step. We say everything is Who the most important shit? thing in publishing. Yeah, well this actually is. This yeah. one actually is. All, all okay. of the other ones are, are also actually. Yeah, now this is creating your book title and I'm looking around at books on Amazon and Audible and most oh. people are doing this completely wrong. Seriously, people. Oh, dude, Amazon Rest and in Audible. Peace book sales. Amazon and Audible is littered with shitty book titles. So I mean, you just want to make sure you're not making those mistakes that we're about to talk about. Oh, we'll get into it and show you what these bad book titles look like. Yeah. Right. But first, let's just get into what is the purpose of your book title. It has two purposes. Two purposes of your book title, and that is one for SEO purposes. That is for keyword ranking. Right. People have to be able to find your book. SEO stands for search engine optimization. So it's basically just having search terms in your title so that like you said people can find your book if you have a book about how to train your dog and you want people to find it they're of course gonna be searching how to train your dog and it's only gonna pop up if that's in the title yeah right so if, that's if one part of it if it's just called like let's say you have a my dog Mary. A, a man's best friend that's the title of it yeah yeah, yeah. right a man's it, best friend who knows it's like about dogs you kind of know because you know what they're talking about but it's not gonna rank anywhere because people aren't searching that. Now, so that's point one. And then the other purpose of your book title is to hook the customer and make them actually want to buy the book. Sell them on your book. That all comes down to copywriting. So you gotta get your keywords in there and then you gotta just sell the book in the book title. Make it fucking appealing and enticing. Let's first define what is copywriting. Let's put a thing on the screen that says like the actual definition. But put in layman's terms, it is written sales. Yes. You know, people have sales skills, talking on the phone, whatever. This is that in writing. So it's your ability to sell people with your words. And you need to apply that shit big time to your book title. Now, with these two purposes of your book title, you have to have a balance between the two. Balance is key. If you have too many keywords in your book title, it will rank everywhere and people will see people it. People will see it. But it'll look disgusting and spammy and unprofessional and no one will buy it. Yes. And then on the contrary, if you don't have many keywords in it, but it's super, you know, salesy and appealing. Salesy in a good way. Salesy in a good way. That's good that people will buy it, but no one will be able to find it. So good. how are they going to get the chance to buy it? doesn't have keywords in there, right? But if you have the perfect balance of both, you have your really important keywords that people are searching and you have some great copy that's really going to by curiosity for people, which is one of the strongest selling emotions that you can evoke in customers. If you have a balance between the two, people will be able to find your book, and when they find it, they'll be super intrigued and interested and be like, yeah, I need this book. Yes, fam, we yeah. need that book. So balance is key when creating your book title. Now there is much more to say on this, but I actually want to have the computer in front of us so we can use that. Look at some examples. advantage as a resource, so let us get the computer or hop in there or however the fuck we're gonna get there. All right, here we are at the computer. First thing I want to look at is some examples of bad, aka shitty book titles. That right. I know a lot of people watching this video are guilty of doing themselves. And it's called keyword stuffing. And the reason why people are keyword stuffing, I think a lot of people have misinterpreted what we've said and what a lot of other people have said, which is basically get keywords in your title. That's what we said. Like, yeah, you, you want to have keywords so that people can find your books, but people just take that shit way too far and you're about to see what we're talking about. Like, you're about to see some trash. Now, I think the publisher of this book is probably watching this video. So Why if your possible? pen name is Will Ramos, you're like, oh my God, that's me. Yeah. Holy, we're about to ex not expose you, but just tell you how you can improve your book titles. Now, this is a serious, serious, serious case of keyword stuffing. Yes. Okay, so let's just hop, Re read the book title. Let's start with let's that. Let's show the screen. Here's what it is. Keto Diet for Beginners, How to Go on the Ketogenic Diet, Ketogenic Diet Guide for Beginners to Maximize the Keto Diet <laughs> for Weight Loss, Easy and Delicious Keto Recipes, and an 8-Week Keto Meal Plan. F*** you! That's a real title. Sorry. It, it's just ruining it for the rest of us. And what I mean by that is, like, uh, it gives, every, it gives, like, what we've been talking about and a lot of other people who, like, Published the way we do, a bad name because like oh, there's publishing shit books like this. But they did make these series. They put more keywords in there. They called it the as health and nutrition diet for self development. You gotta get self development in there, because yeah. I mean that does actually help your book rank. But that's just insane. Yeah. Right. There's no value there. But this is an example of keyword stuffing. Don't do this. Let's look at a few other examples. The next one is, is it even worse? It's literally just a list of keywords. It's just a list of separated by commas. So here's what it is. Here's the title of a book. <laughs> Stoic <laughs> Stoicism. Leadership. 
discipline, mindset, wisdom, <laughs> and spiritual exercises of the vir virtuous Stoic ethics. Overcome anxiety, depression, and destructive emotions. Stoic, Stoic ethics, <laughs> beginner's guide, book one. Yeah. That is the book title. Why would anyone want to buy this book? Now, it is you appearing for like, these keywords. You look like a joke. Oh, absolutely. You are appearing for the keywords. Mm -hmm. That is true. Yeah. Now, let's look into a But when someone sees this, it's just like... It's just like, fuck me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, third example. This will be the last one. Introducing psychology. Learn the basics of psychology to improve your emotional intelligence, couples communication, cognitive behavioral therapy, and to defend from dark psychology techniques. So this one is not as bad as the other two ones. Uh -huh. So this you could categorize as a keyword heavy title because it makes sense. I don't believe this is as guilty of the keyword stuffing. Mm -hmm but it is still too far on the keyword side of things. Because remember, when you see this, it just looks unprofessional. It looks very unprofessional. There's, there's no like real high respected author that'll make a title like this. Really? And that's what you want to appear to people. Really, in a three hour audiobook, you're gonna teach him about psychology, emotional behavior, couples communication, cognitive behavioral therapy, dark psychology techniques. You're gonna teach him about all of this. Mm -hmm. Like you probably just graze over all of them or shit. I know some people are putting keywords in their title that aren't even covered in your book. Yeah, that's fucked. That is fucked. Now, instead of doing this, you're going, only going to want to include three to four keywords in your book title, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to have your main keyword that your book is about, and that's going to be in your title, and that's the focus. But then you also want to find a few related keywords to throw in there, maybe in the title, definitely in the subtitle. Like one to three related keywords. Like, you got to remember, if you know the 80-20 principle, it applies to everything, and book titles is no exception. You can get rid of 80% of the keywords you had in your title because 80% of the traffic is coming from just 20% of the keywords. So get rid of the nonsense extra keywords that you're using to like stuff it and just stick to the main shit that your book's actually about. Yes. And then make the title pretty, yeah. which is like with the sales copy and like really just give the reader this feel like, I need to buy this book. Yeah. Now, your related keywords have to be like going there naturally and smoothly. It does not seem like they're forced at all because they're not, right? Now, how do you find your related keywords? Here's one way. First of all, just think. What is, let, let me, should we give an example of a main keyword? Psychology. How, how, how's that? Psychology. You have to just think for yourself what is related to, to psychology that people could be searching to find your book. Uh -huh. right? And you should be keeping this in mind before you even write your book title. Yes. Because you want to... You that, mean your that, book outline. Your book outline, sorry. Because you want to include in your book what people want to learn about. That's part of the customer research. Yeah. Now, one way to find related keywords is to, in the search bar, so you call it, Yeah. type psychology and see what else people are typing in. So, psychology of human behavior is one. That's very popular. People want to know the psychology of human behavior. Psychology of selling. That's that's two keywords right there. Yeah. Those are basically two main keywords. Yeah. Understand how to become a pro at selling using psychology. Using so shit like that. Even just that, you did get three keywords in there, three high demand keywords, and there was no stuffing involved at all, and that could totally come off as a book written by an authority figure. That is not like a self-publisher publisher just trying to spam keywords. So the book is entirely about psychology, about human behavior, and selling. It's not about cognitive behavioral therapy, couples communication, dark psychology, all these fucking other things. You can't have a book about everything. Yeah. In these, Otherwise, it's not going to be helpful. Then it's just going to be like almost blog posts about a certain different things, like a chapter about this, a chapter about that. Yeah. It needs to be one book about that goes in-depth about one topic. Mm -hmm. That's how you have a good book that's actually going to help someone. The last thing we should do, should we look at a few good book titles? Because we're just talking about bad ones. Don't do this. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, we have the I example just gave there, one. what's other examples? Sure. Let's find Let's that. Let's do that. Oh, here we have, the, I like this one down here. Forbidden Psychology 101, the cool stuff they didn't teach you about in school. Ooh, that's I'm actually curious. really good. I'm instantly curious. That's I'm actually like, really good. Yeah. Like, shit they didn't teach you in school, that's, that's a powerful phrase. Yeah. Now, you're only appearing for people searching psychology, right? But look at me. Like, I'm looking for good books. Boom, that's the one that I went to. Yeah. So, that's the one I would explore. That's the one I would probably end up purchasing. Yeah. Now, that... Reminds me of another thing that I want to point out. I think we've talked about this in a YouTube video before, but if you're in our, in our course, you know this, how the Audible search engine works. That is if your book title does not exactly include the word in the search box that the customer is searching, your book won't appear. If they're searching keto diet 
and your book is called ketogenic diet your book will not appear because it didn't say keto diet so keep that in mind with audible it's not like that on amazon i would create my title based around audible search engine because it won't hurt you on amazon you know, it's not going to take anything away there. But the final example that I want to look at here in the psychology niche that looks like a really good title is this one right here. The psychology of selling. Increase your sales faster and easier than you ever thought possible. This is an example of really good copywriting. All right, so that basically covers everything that you need to know about creating your book title. Let's just recap the two purposes of it. One, to get keywords in there so people can actually find your book. And two is apply copywriting, freaking sell the book so people actually want to buy it. Mm -hmm. Right? And the big takeaway is to have balance between the two, which is why today's magic emoji of the day is that, I don't know what it's called, it's that, 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 that emoji, the judicial system, the jury, yeah. something like that. No, 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 I'll play the first <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> but just spam that uh, emoji in the comment section if you watch this video to the end. Like, actually do it, instead of just, a uh, magic emoji like wait, except just just spam it. Let's see how many Can we just end the video of me falling backwards? Yes, just do it. Please do it. Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so painful. <laughs> oh, that I was... committed to that so much. Oh, that was impressive. Ow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, let's end on that. <laughs>